We're focused on who's next in our fall schedule here at Prep Baseball and who's next behind the plate in Alabama. Jameson Barnes playing for Birmingham Stars. Jameson, man, appreciate the time. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. So reading the scattering report on you, it talks about easy juice to all fields. I love that kind of breakdown of a hitter, but how, how would you break yourself down in what you do at the plate? Well, really just simplifying things. Um, you know, simplifying the swing as much as possible. Um, you know, power comes naturally for me, so I have to work on, you know, let's be more contact, um, let's work on all sides of the field, um, and really staying on plane as long as I can. So you got the pop time down to the low twos, got that uh, velo behind the plate into the 70s. What do you feel like is the real strength for you behind the plate right now? Uh, I'd really say my receiving, um, and then also my knowledge as a pitch caller. I feel like I do a really good job there. How much time does it take you to learn a pitcher? I mean, you think about, you know, during the travel Travel season, right. like guys come and go. How do you? How do you? How long does that process take you? Oh yeah, it's definitely really tough. Um, you know, especially in travel ball because you go through so many pitchers so quickly, um, and that's kind of a learning experience. But you know, usually after a couple innings, you know, sit down and talk with them, and we're usually good to go. Who are your guys at your position at the big league level? I know you got number twelve on your back, yeah. so I'm thinking Sean Murphy's probably going to come up here. But who do you? Who do you like at the big league level behind? Yeah, the I have enjoyed watching uh, Sean Murphy, but um, you know, I liked watching Yadier Molina and just the confidence he brings to his game, um, so yeah. What do you kind of take from what you see from those guys and put into your own game as you develop as a player? Yeah, like I said, that confidence, you know, just the swagger they have, controlling the game, um, not letting the moment be too big for them, so yeah. I know one thing catchers love is early in a game when a team wants to test you on the base pass right. and, and see that arm. Take me inside that and, and how, how good that feels as a catcher to, to put the brakes on that and say, not running on me today. Yeah, it's uh, definitely fun to say, you know, like, hey, can't run on me, you know, and a lot of times that's fun seeing runners, you know, they think, hey, you know, this guy can't throw me out and then you go and do it. You know, you don't have to say anything, you just show them what you can do. You were here at Lake Point Sports this past summer as part of the junior feature games mm -hmm. team for Alabama. What was your favorite experience about that? I know for some guys it's like, man, I knew all these guys of them right. and just didn't get a chance to play with them. What was it like? What was the best Yeah, it's you? great um, seeing all the competition from around the country, you know, getting to meet new people, just enjoying the experience. You know, you only get to do that so often. This next year, what's that piece of the game that you feel like if this just gets a little bit better, I'm going to be exactly where I want to be as a player? I think just consistency as a hitter. You know, every game, you know, strive for one hit a game, you know, instead of having, let's say, you know, two for two, then no for two, or, you know, so just consistency in my hitting. All right, well, let's see that hitting in motion. I'll have you get that bat in your hand and take okay. it to your set of at the plate. All right. Uh, so usually in my swing, you know, I try to focus on two things. Um, one, you know, I just nice and relaxed up at the plate, and I really try to create that separation like a rubber band with my hands and then right here in this hip. And the only other thing I really try to focus on is staying on plane. So staying through the ball at all these points. That way, if I'm early, you know, I've still got room for air and I can catch up to that ball. Or if I'm late, I'm still in the zone to catch it late. Jameson, man, thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. If you're not already, make sure you follow Eight Point Sports on all our social media channels. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. We get so many more of the athletes that come here to show out.